Sometimes it can feel like you're trying to climb a mountain when you're trying to get sales on TeePublic. And trust me guys, I know, I've been there. My first ever payment from TeePublic was $31. Since then, I got to a point where I was able to actually make over $1,000 just in one month. So, in this video, I thought it'd be a good idea to give you guys some of my top five tips to TeePublic success. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone who's new around here, I make print on demand videos to both motivate and give you guys tips based on my own experiences. Print on demand has changed my life in a big way and I know it can do the same for you guys. So if you want to join me on this journey, hit that subscribe button and join the TMG community. We're the friendliest community in the print on demand game hands down i read through all my comments and i'm all seeing people helping each other positive energy i literally live for that if you don't already know i have a free print on demand starter guide that's linked down in the description and for anyone that's looking to maximize their earnings and possibly make this into a full-time thing i also have a paid course that will fast track you to print on demand success and that's linked just below and if you want me to send you a message every time i post the video don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Jumping straight into this, the first tip I have for you guys is to use the multiple uploader on TeePublic. Now, for those that don't know, on TeePublic, there's two options. There's the single uploader option and the multiple uploader. The multiple uploader will pretty much allow you to upload a lot of things at the same time. Take advantage of that, build up your designs and get them on your stores as fast as you can. The multiple uploader option, if you're not already using it, will instantly change up your tea public game if you want more information on that i'll link another video down in the description that actually goes more into that side of things tip number two make sure that you're putting keywords in your description in the last tea public video i made a lot of people are actually saying that this isn't something they were already doing so if you're one of those people start doing that from today unlike redbubble with t public the description matters your designs will get pushed by your title by your tags and also by your description. So make sure that you're keeping that in mind. Tip number three, you want to make sure that on your designs, especially if you're creating text designs, you use bolder fonts. Now a free one you guys can use, pretty much anyone can get access to this, is the impact font. For anyone that uses Photoshop, it should be there. On other editing softwares, I'm pretty sure impact should be there as well as it's a default font. But if you want to get a little bit crazy with it, there's a site called defont.com. So that's D-A-F-O-N-T.com. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just want to help you guys. You can actually download some free fonts you can use and find yourself a varied range of bold fonts. Also, white fonts on black backgrounds perform better from my own experience. So if you're not already doing that, I'll suggest you guys to try that as well. Tip number four, you want to be making sure that you're uploading consistently. The T public algorithm is smart. If you're uploading consistently and then you start to get sales, it would think that, whoa, this person is getting the website sales. They're putting more designs on. These designs might also get sales as well. So the algorithm will make your designs more accessible to customers. Consistency is key guys. And finally, tip number five, you want to make sure that you're always looking at what T Public is putting on the front page, what T Public is sending you in your emails, as all those designs are things that are actually selling on their website because they would never promote something that's not selling as it doesn't make business sense as that wouldn't actually make the money. So with the designs that you do see, always try to see if you can recreate them in your own way as one idea that you get from those designs could actually blow up your shop one day and it could sell like crazy. So always be keeping your eyes open when it comes to that and think of it as if you are someone who's actually digging for gold you looking at those designs and trying them out in your own way is kind of like digging and eventually you will hit that gold they're my top five tips for T Public success. And if you have enjoyed this video, I have a couple of more videos just like this one based on T Public that I'll link down in the description. So check those out. If you've learned something new or have gotten any sort of value from this video at all, a like rating will be very much appreciated. And if you somehow have made it to this point of this video, besides just being an amazing person, comment T Public gold. Because at the end of the day, it's what we're all digging for. 
And I also want to see how many of you guys actually get to this point of the video. It's fun to read through all the comments. And if you look right now, you see that I'm responding to pretty much every comment that I see. The channel now also has a shop. It's based on motivation as I pretty much came from a tough place. The power of mindset and motivation is what took me out of that place. I still have that same mindset now. You probably see it in my energy that comes across through these videos. But yeah, if you want to support the channel, the link will be one of the top links in the description. Always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success. <laughs>